now? Why the hell would I do that? Like a seven out of 10. And like everyone was kind of just like, I mean, nothing happened. Like it looks kind of dumb. Bye. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, it wouldn't be a Caitlin and Kylie vlog if it didn't start out with me complaining about the way my hair looks. Um, anyway, today is August 8th, it is currently 10 42 in the morning. And I just made myself some breakfast. I made two scrambled eggs and then half a bagel with some butter on it. And honestly, it doesn't even look or smell like appealing and I don't even want to eat it. But I wanted to vlog today. I am going to hang out with Tito and we're going to the mall. And I think we might go to Build-A-Bear and make each other Build-A-Bears because like we're just like that annoying couple. Um, but yeah, and I figured I would vlog with him and just vlog the day i feel like i haven't vlogged in a while yeah anyway i'm gonna go eat my breakfast now my really bland boring breakfast that i don't even want to eat and watch um miss remy ashton's newest vlog and then i am going to shower and get ready for the day and yeah i just figured i would take you guys along on my day today this is the most disgusting cup of coffee i've ever had and that says a lot because every cup of coffee i make is disgusting so still gonna drink it though Okay, so it's later now, it's 12.45, and I just finished getting completely ready, so I think I'm gonna go eat something really quick because I'm hungry, and even though I feel like I just ate breakfast. Well, I guess it was like two hours ago. I don't know, I'm gonna eat something small, probably, and then um, head over to Tito's house. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick outfit of the day first before I do that. So I just have my hair half up, half down. And then I'm wearing my friend's t-shirt. This is my first friend shirt I ever got. And now I have like probably 12 of them. Not even kidding. Maybe even more than that. Um, This is the first one I got. I'm wearing my name necklace. And then I'm wearing these shorts. I don't, I think they're from Garage. Our fr family friend Talia was getting rid of a bunch of her clothes. So she let us go through them. So I got these shorts from her. They're just like ripped shorts so like that in the back. They're really cute. And then I'm wearing my Superstars, which also are from Talia. I just texted Tito that I'm leaving and he said, okay, I'm gonna jump in the shower. You can just come on in when you get here. No, why the hell would I do that? Never gonna just come on in. I'm with Tito now. We are going to get pupusas. pupusas. I'm nervous because I don't you like be. going to like restaurants I've never been to before. Cause I don't know how to act. That's gonna be fun. My hair is doing something weird. And then we're gonna go to the mall. Yeah. Right? So yeah, I'll update you guys. I've never had a pupusa, but Tito obviously has. Okay, I don't know why that's obvious. <laughs> well, I guess because you're like, are they like El Salvadorian food? That's why, that's where he's from. If you guys were ever wondering, he's El Salvadorian. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I've never had pupusas and he talks about them all the time. So we're gonna try them. I'm gonna try them. I'll let you guys know how I feel about them. Um, hopefully I don't have a panic attack in the restaurant because I hate going to like restaurants I've never been to before. And I really hate going to restaurants that aren't chain restaurants also. So just social anxiety things. Okay, so we just got out of the restaurant and thank you. Mm -hmm. I give pupusas like, okay, my hair is just being really weird today. Like a 7 out of 10, I think. Seven out of 10. <laughs> like, they're good. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not really a picky eater, so there's not very many things that I'm, like, straight up not gonna like. But, like, I don't really get, like, the hype. I thought they were good. 10 <laughs> out of 10. Maybe 11 out of 10. Really? Yeah. I like pupusas. I mean, Love like, pupusas. I like them. But, I don't know. I have some questions that are, like, 
not the boyfriend well some of them are from the boyfriend tag some of them are just like random questions some of them are just questions that i like wanted to like just answer for you guys so we're gonna do like a little like couples q a on our way to the mall because i just feel like it would be fun so it's kind of like our version of the boyfriend tag while driving because everything's more fun when you're driving but i'm gonna film it on his phone because the questions are on my phone so let me switch real quick so the first question is how did we meet you can answer it um we met through Shaylin. yeah through my best friend who is it's his my ex-girlfriend ex and that we're gonna explain that a little later on because i know you guys are probably like what yeah um how slash when did we start dating uh we started dating march 24th 26th 26th <laughs> oops um that's the official, official day, day yeah. after oh. countless times of asking <laughs> she finally no. gave in and said yes i got really drunk one night and confessed to him that i had feelings for him we had been friends for a while for years we've known each other for three years? three four years now yeah like four four years now four years we've known each other for like four years and we were friends because like i said he was dating my best friend um and then they broke up but we still worked together so we stayed friends so we've been friends and uh, somewhere along the way we both caught feelings for each other and neither one of us wanted to say anything because well his ex-girlfriend is my best friend so it was a really awkward situation but i got drunk one night and texted him and he just so happened to feel the same way thank god or else that would have been awkward and probably ruined our friendship <laughs> um yeah awkward at work, don't you think? <laughs> yeah it definitely would have been awkward <laughs> at work so then we uh we're kind of like just like talking like a thing for a couple months because i didn't want to like do anything like a f like do anything because of shaylin mm -hmm. but out yeah out of respect for shaylin obviously um but finally i gave in because well i like him so what is it like dating your coworker? <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, we don't really do PDA at work. Obviously. Uh, just because it's a little weird. That would be weird. Um, and we just have to keep it professional because yeah. uh, we do have different job titles and job responsibilities. He's technically my technically, boss. Technically, I'm her boss. Um, so we always got to keep that like yeah level of professionalism. We keep things, yeah. I think we keep things really professional at work. Um, luckily, all of our coworkers are like really cool, and they support our relationship. Love, Love our coworkers to Love. death. But um, yeah, so everyone's like, it's like fine. We don't really like. Obviously, we like talk to each other at work, but we definitely don't like be weird. We're not weird at work, yeah. and I, he doesn't um, give me special treatment just because I'm his girlfriend. Yeah, I don't play favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Even so. though she tries to abuse my power sometimes, it's fine. <laughs> Um, yeah. What annoys you the most about me? Is this a trick question? No. You can be a little indecisive sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That annoys me about me too. Yeah. But sometimes I just get so lazy I don't want to make decisions. I make him make all the decisions because I don't like making decisions because I don't want him to like not like the decision I made and then I'll feel rejected and stupid. So <laughs> I don't want <laughs> what is your favorite thing about me? Um, there are a lot, actually. Yeah? I don't think I, there's like one specific thing that's like my favorite. Um, you don't have a favorite thing about me? Not one specific thing. <laughs> my favorite thing about you, you're very, um, you're very go with the flow. I feel like, which I am too. Which kind of complicates our relationship sometimes because that's like neither of us want to make decisions. But like he definitely like anything. If I just want to do something, if I'm like, can we do this or like whatever, do you care if I do this or we do this? He's like, yeah, I don't care. Like it doesn't even like I don't know. I feel like my ex was just really controlling and didn't let me <laughs> want to do things ever. See, uh, I used to be that way too. Uh, but like the the thing I like about past relationships is that you like, you, you learn grow to look, from yeah, them. You yeah, grow and you learn. And one of the things that I learned from one of my previous exes is that I need to go with the flow more. And that made, really made me think. And I learned about myself that I'm more of a go with the flow, flow type of person. Yeah. So, I mean, now I'm more go with the flow. And yeah. I've grown as well. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's definitely like very go with the flow. Very just chill about things. He doesn't ever overreact. Or like, 
get really mad at me over really dumb things. Like, I don't know. I just, he's really understanding, I feel like, too. Okay, so this is a question you guys are probably all wanting to know. Is it awkward dating your best friend's ex slash your ex's best friend? No, no. And, like, what's all the tea with that? You don't think it's awkward? I don't think it's awkward now as much as it was in the beginning. So basically, I'm just gonna kind of give like a rundown of it because I know this is so controversial. I broke girl code in so many ways. Um, and people probably think I'm a bitch because of it. So basically, thank you. Basically, Shaylin is like a sister to me. I love her to death. And she was dating Tito and like their senior year of high school and then like freshman year of college. And then they broke up before their sophomore year of college and now they're about to be seniors in college. So it was two years ago. And they broke up because I mean like there was really like, no like nothing happened. They just like, they grew apart, like which just happened. So just, we just grew apart, like nothing yeah. happened, no big fight or anything. Uh, we just kind of wanted different things in life. Uh, different goals. We were in a um, long distance relationship too. Which, yeah, it, it made it a little hard. There were no hard feelings and I still want the best for Shaylin. Like yeah. I wish her all the best and all the success in life. Yeah. So that um, I feel like kind of like helps me out a little bit because it wasn't like he cheated on her or anything. anything. Yeah, it was not a messy breakup. Um, and I also want to get so clear that I did not have any feelings towards Tito at all. No attraction, nothing. He was strictly just like Shaylin's boyfriend and like my coworker. Like we, I feel like we were barely even friends the whole time you guys dated. Like other than like, yeah, we like we were friendly, but like we weren't like friends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I didn't yeah. have feelings for Kylie at all. Yeah, like, so it wasn't like I'm not a homewrecker. We didn't start dating until like a year and a half after you guys broke up. And I felt so awful about it because i was just like you can't date your best friend's ex that's like literally the, the number one rule of girl code like you don't do that i felt so bad about it but at the same time like i liked him and like sometimes he was like you know you gotta just do things for your own happiness and not think of everyone else's happiness <laughs> so i talked like i talked to my parents about it i talked to some of our co-workers about it i talked to like my friends who aren't friends with shaylin like about it and like everyone was kind of just like i mean nothing happened like they didn't like there was not a bad breakup so i don't think it's really that big of a deal if you guys date and i still wasn't going to do anything about it but then i got drunk one night and told him but shaylin and i are on fine like we're fine now like we're i mean there was like a little bit of a argument Awkward. Awkward. awkwardness um when it first got when we first got together but shaylin's been the best about it and has been like I don't know how she feels. I don't know if she feels awkward about it. I don't know if she's really still upset about it. I don't think she is. She hasn't told me if she is or not. Um, but she's been like the best and like been supportive like, of oh. us and just like wants me to be happy, which I really appreciate. So yeah, it's not awkward. I don't think, at least not anymore. It definitely was in the beginning awkward with Shaylin, but it never was awkward like between me and you that you were like Shaylin's ex. Like I never, like, cause I feel like so many girls are like, oh like my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend and like how like they like compare themselves to their boyfriend's ex and everything and like i just don't really think of shaylin as his ex and i don't think of him as shaylin's ex i don't know because like, so much like a lot of time passed between, yeah like, i guess that's why yeah and we a lot of time passed between shaylin and i breaking up and we became better friends after we broke up yeah so i Me think and you. yeah so yeah that's i guess that's why. i don't yeah, yeah i don't know like it's just it's not awkward like i don't know i just don't think about it that way so yeah long story short it's not awkward and i know it's like a weird situation you guys probably still don't think that i did the right thing sometimes i'm like was i a bitch because i feel like i was but i mean the important thing is that i'm happy and you're happy and shaylin's happy and shaylin has a boyfriend who is really good to her and everything and i love shaylin I would never want to do anything to hurt her. Yeah, I'm so. glad she's happy. Yeah. Where we are. This okay. is gonna be cute. Okay, we're picking out bears for each other. Hmm. Okay, I picked out the Joker for him. I picked out a Simba. We're dressing the bears now. Well, the Joker. Well, he's a bear. And the lion, Simba. 
Yeah. See, I don't feel like it fits him properly. I think it fits him perfectly. It looks kind of dumb. I think you put it on upside down. How would I put it on upside down? I don't down? know. Don't you feel like the piano and the should be on the top? No, I guess not. But I feel like it looks dumb. I don't think there's a proper way to dress I feel like he up. just. I feel like he just can't wear clothes. So you want it to be naked? Well, I feel like he's going to look dumb in clothes. Like, if you put pants on him, he wouldn't. But I don't feel like you should put pants on him and not a shirt. Look how cute, guys. We got the Joker and we got Simba. And his shirt says, The Circle of Life. Yeah. Almost as cute as you. We got our bear. Well, they're not bears. Well, actually, yours is a bear. The Joker. Okay. And Simba. His clothes don't fit him properly, but he's trying his best. And, oh, and we got our certificate. This one's his, named the Joker. Made, stuffed with love by me. And mine, stuffed oh, stuffed with love by him. I hope that's not backwards when I actually go to edit this. So anyway, yeah. what do you think, babe? Was it fun? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was very nice. It was very cute. I think it was a great date idea. So if you guys ever are looking for a date idea, just go make each other build a bears um, Yeah, so now we're going back to your house. Mm -hmm. He's making me watch How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, one of the best movies ever. He best is, soundtracks. He Love How to Train Dragon. He's like such a musician that he like likes the soundtracks in movies more than the movies themselves. Like he Facts. gets he gets so excited about the soundtracks in movies. Like something that no one else pays attention to. <laughs> Love and Ladybugs. Love and Ladybugs.